A local man is recovering from a near drowning off Fort George Island. He says if it hadn't been for all three men, all 21 years old and younger, who dove into action, he likely wouldn't be here today. News for Jack's reporter Elizabeth Campbell has the story of this positively Jack's reunion. Um, I might not be here. Larry Batten gets emotional when talking about so, three strangers uh, who he says saved his life. But I went in the water a little deeper. I think I was, I don't think I was any higher than my chest. This is where he started his Sunday of Memorial Day weekend on a boat with friends enjoying the long weekend. All of a sudden, the next thing I knew, um, I was uh, on dry land. The next thing I remember was I was um, in recovery. But this is where he ended up, in the hospital, spending more than a week in the ICU. He'll never know exactly what happened, but what he does know is if it weren't for these three young men, he may not be alive today. Josh Harrison, Marcus Hardesty, and John Hopke. They were on a nearby boat and in the midst of a big and at times chaotic crowd of people having fun on a holiday weekend, they saw Larry's struggle. Looks like he, he's getting weaker and weaker. And then we all look over and like we just see his, his face go underwater for the last time. And then we see his, we just let go of his hat. I really do think it was God's grace for allowing us to be there and uh, really allowing us to be there to watch that. Marcus is in EMT school and learned CPR just a year ago. I immediately went into action and uh, helped drag him up on shore and started chest compressions and uh, we finally got him a pulse. Had you ever had to use this training before? No, this was my first time. I'm glad I did the class and I'm glad I was there at the right time. Saving his life was one thing, but Larry says these three taking time out of their busy lives to visit him in the hospital meant even more. I know they're strangers to you, but what do they mean to you? Ah. They're, um, they mean a lot. If it wasn't for them, I mean, so many people, you know, don't want to get involved with stuff. So it's, um, it means, it, it means a lot to, to, that somebody takes, takes it upon themselves to, you know, get in there and, and do what needs to be done. Larry says he's blessed. He was able to recently return to work after weeks of recovery, and he hopes in the coming weeks to meet with these guys again, the three he credits for saving his life. Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station. How awesome. Larry also said a nurse and a police officer also happened to be in the area at the time of his near drowning. He says they jumped in to help those three young men, so there was help coming in from all over the place. Thank wow. goodness. I know, right? Uh, right place, right time saves a life. Mm -hmm. and that so many exactly good people in the world. Right? Right there. Yep, and uh, to identify the situation, too, sometimes you can, you can hesitate, but these guys didn't. Mm -mm. And again, make None a huge difference. Uh, no.